friend, Sal Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about Facebook audiences the ads the audiences for ads like last time last week I did an episode where I talked about how to create a video ad how to promote an ad how to post that and just kind of the basics of doing a video ad and what you're looking for in um in ads on Facebook and at the end of it I got to where I was going to show you how to do the audience because I was actually going to cover that but I missed it so this is what I'm going to talk about today the video ads how to use them how to create them where to go to create them and uh and yeah so before we get to that though first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so video viewer audiences in Facebook there's specific kind of audience are called custom audiences how do you do that how do you create them and we're going to talk about that in just a second and like I said but first this no no this is the other thing if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video you're going to go to cis391.jsgagnon.com to go watch the video and the blog post because I will be posting uh, screenshots and I will be showing you a uh, video of my of my screen and how to set all that up right all right so first uh, let's get started let's go to share my screen here um right over here so when you go to your page right let's just let's just go back if I go to my page right I got I got a couple of links to direct pages but if I have let's this is the page where I use to do ads right so you're on your page there's all these different things on there that you can see talks shows you the pro posts and shows you everything and there's there's a couple of ways to get to audiences and last week when I was finishing up I actually went to show you the ad center right here right if I go to the ad center it first shows me the ads I've got running and and past ads right right now this is this ad that I posted last week um uh, 174 through plays which is basically the results because I did an ad for video views through plays are I believe um is that a minute or more anyways it's not what I'm looking for because I'm looking for views is a thousand well that's 1019 views is three seconds or more through plays is longer I forget what it is maybe it's maybe it's 15 seconds or 30 seconds anyways it shows in that maybe I'll show you but that's not what I want to talk to you about I want to talk to you about audiences so now that I have an ad for a video or even if you don't have an ad you can still create these audiences if you get lots of views organically either because you share it in groups or because uh you share it on your profile and get lots of people to watch it and all that uh you can still track these people into a custom audience a viewers a video viewers audience right so how do you do that so first you're going to see that on your page when you go to ads manager there's an audiences right here right that's not where you want to go but I'm going to kind of still show you what it looks like basically when you go to this place you can create an audience but it's only um demographic based audience right so whether they're men and women their age group what country they they're in and that's and that's basically it right that's I don't know if you can do more but uh detail targeting match yeah I guess you can put interest here too you can say like you know people like Tony Robbins or whatever right but you can't do the custom audience thing that I'm talking about right unless there's a way that I don't know but anyways I'm going to show you how to get to it from the business uh, side of things so I don't know if there's a way to get to it from here um maybe there is no I guess not no okay anyways so what you want to do is you want to go to business.facebook.com so you go to business business.facebook.com so when you go to business.facebook.com that lets you access all the uh business tools so the first thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to select the right uh the right account I'm not even sure which one I think it's this one probably uh but in your case you're probably gonna have only one so I wouldn't worry too much about it uh so when you go here you're gonna notice that there's a menu well that's is that it no yes is it all right yeah so there's a menu right here that lets you go to all tools 
so what you want to do is you want to go to audiences from here so you just click this little uh little three three things you go to audiences right there or you could have went to audience probably on the side I, I take it it would it would have taken you to the same place but that's where you want to do a custom audience to watch your video viewers so we're going to just do one right now I actually did create one already right over here but I'm going to create a new one to kind of show you how it works right now you can see I still have less than a thousand people in this audience and until you have a thousand people in the audience Facebook won't let you really use it or it'll, it'll tell you the audience is too small um <clears throat> but if I just go and I say create audience see how you have three options here you got the lookalike on special ad out saved audience saved audience is what we could do in the other page right now we're talking about the custom audience we want to do a custom audience we can talk about lookalike maybe afterwards but we want to do a custom audience so custom audience lets you choose different sources of data so in my case I want video views there's other things you can do a, an audience from Instagram activities you can do an audience from um, shopping on Facebook listing customer list offline anyways whatever all those things I'm not going to cover right now but there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with Facebook audience right now we just want a video view audience so you click on the video and you say next then what it does it asks you the kind of engagement you want this is where I was talking about the through play see I think the through play is at least 15 seconds so there it is so I want to build an audience for anybody who sees my video just three seconds of it is good enough but I could do more or 95 percent of my video and whatever right so I could do more <laughs> than that depending on what you're trying to accomplish but right now all we want to do is we want to see who just watches three seconds so I'm going to say <coughs> oops sorry people who had at least three seconds of video I'm going to call it um cis three second three second viewers right and I'm going to say cis uh, 390 let's say 391 because I want I want this audience to be uh for another video I did for last video or maybe I don't do that one let's go look and see what do I have in terms of uh posts I have here let's go in here uh into my page I want to go find one of the posts I did on active group users because that's kind of what I'm promoting now these days right so uh let's actually maybe the easiest thing would be to go look this is the one I did an, an audience uh, video on and uh, an add-on already so let's not uh, do an audience on that I already have an audience on that one so let's do an audience on um so this is the one here what's the other one if, uh, um, um do, 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 do. it's a group hacker how about this one so number which one's this this is course income number can't even see the title right or can I see no let's go to the video I just want to see what oh, so it's 380 okay so I'm going to do 380 so I go back here I'm going to say 380 right that's that's just my naming does that's not necessarily what you got to do but over here then you say choose video right here so I'm going to go and choose the videos on my page that I want I want to use my JS Gagnon page which is the default page I have I have a bunch of pages obviously and then I can go down here and I can go find the 380 which is not here yet let's go to the next one page 2 380 what was it called it was called what is a group hacker okay so what is a group hacker uh, <clears throat> oops I think it's before that be the next one what is a good there this one here okay I'm gonna this is the video I want to create an audience for I don't have I don't even have an ad for it right now so but if I did an ad for it then that would increase the views but I'm just going to say that's the video I want for this but now you can have a bunch of videos in your audience I tried that before creating a, a custom audience for all my videos but it just it's just because my videos are about different things although they are about course income secrets right um what happened is I I just kind of stopped because it's a lot of work plus after having like three or four hundred videos in an audience in Facebook it causes problems and so anyways let's not worry about that okay so you can put a description obviously if you want here but I'm just going to say create audience so when you do that what happens is it'll tell you you can create an ad and all that which uh, let's not worry about that right now but basically see it's right here three second viewers it says populating right and this one is a building up right now this was cis 380 maybe I should rename it 
uh, how to become a group hacker right let's uh, actually edit this and change the name to three second cis so how to be group hacker right so that's the audience right there okay so so now I, I just called called it like that so that now I've created those audiences I've got two of them I got this audience here and um what I'm going to do is so like I said this episode is about creating audiences video viewer audiences that's how you create them afterwards how do you use them is by creating ads that use that audience right so in Facebook I can go in here and I can post something or I can I can actually I can actually promote this video to the to the other audience if I want there's um there's different reasons why you want to create an, an ad towards one of these audiences one of them is because they've already seen one video so they're more likely to watch the, another video so if you're trying to promote videos mo multiple of your videos it's good to promote to the people that already saw it <clears throat> and you can kind of you know mix and match you can have like 10 videos that you're promoting and you're promoting to each of the audiences and you're just kind of like making um all the audiences grow kind of thing the other thing you can do too is you can create an ad to another kind of audience an audience <coughs> like for example the fans of Gary V or the fans of uh Russell Brunson or or <coughs> or uh, Tony Robbins or <coughs> you know Eric whatever your business is right whoever is the big leaders in that business you can promote your video to that audience right and one of the things I'm going to do probably next probably next video next week I'm going to build this but I want to I, I need to create something that will make people see me as an expert and how do you do that when they don't know you right it's not about like if you know me you've been following me you've you're seeing my stuff you're kind of you know into my things you kind of know who I am so you you already you're not that you're not that target market the target market is cold market that doesn't know me that's what I I'm going to do so I'm going to create a, a, a little short video using Canva and all that anyways that's next week so all right so let's get back to this how do I use this audience then so to use the audience again you go back to the all tools right here you go to ads manager and let's just create a new ad and use that uh that that audience right <coughs> I'm not sure if I'll be able to uh, we'll see so first I want to uh, create an ad so you just go here to the green button right there you just say create right <coughs> and I want to call it a oh this is new campaign objective they've changed how the layout is different but anyways that's still the same idea as what I'm used to so it's either you got a reach branch of awareness or you got you know video views and traffic and all that or conversion right so those are different uh, objectives what are you trying to accomplish right now I'm just trying to accomplish more reach or more video views right so video views is what I want on this video um let me see is that what I want for this because I'm trying to use well first let's grow the audience by doing an ad that will grow the video views right so this is the first thing so the first thing is you want to grow that audience using a targeting that you believe is worth it right that your target market is in like the ad I did last week is just an ad that Facebook decided because I just did a boost post right when you do a boost post it's not as it's not as uh complete you can't do as much as when you're doing your own ad so I'm just going to do my own ad right now I'm going to grow that audience I click on video views and the name I'm going to give it a name <laughs> so cis389 um let's say to Tony let's let's send this to Tony Robbins um ad set so create ad set I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna call them all the same because I like I'm not sure um I haven't really used um you know the the same campaign for a bunch of ad sets and the same ad set for a bunch of ads I've always kind of done one one or the one or the other maybe eventually I'll, I'll understand how that works but for now I just create one of each for every single ad I do so I'm just going to say continue and over here it gives me all the different options I guess I I have a next down here okay so first the campaign name okay so categories uh, no categories <laughs> option type I don't even know what 
that stuff is a b testing so I'm going to say a daily budget of I'm not going to say daily budget I'll say a lifetime budget or maybe let's do a daily budget let's say two dollars a day all right just two dollars a day that's all or you I, in U.S. I think you can do one dollar but because it's Canadian oh I can oh yeah okay yeah I, it has to be a U.S. a value of one dollar so I got to do 140 maybe right that'd be the lowest I can do uh, right now so that's the budget the day e either you have a daily budget right or you have a lifetime budget and you give it a certain number of days by using the daily budget a very low amount you can always increase it if you if you see that you're getting good results but you can also just stop the ad whenever you if you decide it's not working right I could start this at 20 dollars and change it that's all you can all change you can do that after the ad started you can change the budget if you want up or down so you don't really have to choose now over here there's all uh I guess there's options for scheduling you can say on uh, uh, this is there's things here that weren't there like you know two months ago right so anyways that's why I'm kind of looks new so it's new to me okay so start date is today uh right and what we're going to do here is we're going to go into okay so this is the audience part so what okay in this video is I want to target Tony Robbins fans right so do I have a saved audience that I get I guess I do have Tony fans so this is a uh, Tony fans says English Tony Robbins uh and also must match employers oh I don't that shouldn't be well <clears throat> so let's just can I use this one and edit it or let me see yeah so I can edit it I'm actually going to edit this and change the actual ad instead of creating a new one so I'm just going to say uh this is the countries well actually you know what let's create an ad and show you an audience a, this is a targeted audience or a saved audience uh, let's create one so that you know how it works right so if I go to here well actually it's right here so the default is create new audience right so create new audience lets you create an audience that is a something so um I can say right here I don't want just Canada I want all these countries I can say uh people who live oops that's that's what I want include United States right United States that's the one United States right here include uh Australia so I like to use the top what they call the top five the top five so United States Canada Australia United Kingdom and uh New Zealand right New Zealand so these are considered the top five uh countries that have you know English speaking people and that are um you know higher level income right so you can you can you could do it worldwide but the problem is that when you do it worldwide it'll go all the ads will go to the 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 to the less English less less interesting countries if you will right you still get lots of you know views and stuff but maybe you're not going to get the kinds of views you want so the age group that's really up to you you can change it but I'm going to change it you can leave it like that but I'm going to change it to a bit older people let's say 30 <laughs> or maybe 20 let's do 25 25 is good <laughs> and I'm going to go up to like say 55 so you can you can leave the age to all age gender that's fine demographics uh languages I want English only so English English all right and demographics that's where you set interest like somebody who's interested in Tony Robbins for example I'm going to say uh in Tony Robbins Tony Robbins is that going to be in here Tony Robbins Browns interests let's see Tony Robbins why is that not showing up come on computer it should be loading Tony Robbins in here let's see Robbins. <coughs> there we go I don't know why oh there's no <coughs> there's no Tony Robbins why is there no Tony Robbins well let's see Eric Worley so Eric Worley is there so why is Tony Robbins not there Tony Robbins maybe Tony Robbins doesn't want to be found anymore <laughs> let's see if I uh 
let's see if I browse let's see if I can find it interests uh, so where would the interest be business I don't know where he where he would be right would it be under uh, personal entrepreneurship <clears throat> there's entrepreneurship right here <laughs> now here okay let's do that I'm gonna do entrepreneurship right here right now the other thing is if you put something else right here let's say I put uh, network marketing network marketing right if I put network marketing as here uh, social media marketing and interest okay let's do this one so if I do that right whoops where did the oh okay so you see how I have entrepreneurship right here and I have social media marketing so you don't want to do that you don't want to have two of them here like this because what happens is it's going Facebook is going to go to which either or it's an or thing right it's one or the other and it's going to go to the cheapest one in other words the least expensive leads of those two which might not but which is probably not what you want what you want is somebody who's interested in both those things right so the way you do it is you just you don't do this you say narrow audience and then you put <laughs> network marketing right right there so this one was uh, this one social media marketing <laughs> so now you have and see how it says now must also match so now that means both of those you so the people that you're going to be targeting are interested in entrepreneurship and social media marketing and I really wish I could find why can I not find Tony Robbins here Robbins Tim Robbins don't like this is weird suggestions so Robert Kiyosaki's right here addition interest additional interest entrepreneurship <clears throat> okay let's go look for uh so where was this Robert Kiyosaki is under so I could probably say personal development <clears throat> one of the secret ones too is a Facebook page admin is a good one to use narrow further again I'm going to go in here <clears throat> um, uh, let's see I want to go into other interest wasn't it suggestions no browse so interests other interests no it's not even there <coughs> this is really weird why is it not showing me <coughs> uh I really want to have Tony Robbins in here I don't understand maybe I can go back to my saved audience here and edit it because I do have an audience that has Tony Robbins in it so I'm not sure he is there interest Tony Robbins okay let's use this one and I'm going to edit edit this <laughs> and I'm gonna get uh so I've got this it's basically the same thing as what we did right age and uh genders and uh language is language language should be someplace oh and this one is oh that's interesting hmm take that out of there so just Tony fans Tony fans 2022 I'm just going to save it as 2022 <coughs> and uh, down the bottom you see there's a save as new right language I've got language US and UK I don't know why I specifically did that but Facebook page admin I've got personal development I've got affiliate marketing I've got Tony Robbins so now this is just Tony and you know affiliate marketing and personal development and uh so that's people that are interested in Tony and also have those other uh, traits so I'm going to save as new <clears throat> and I'm going to use that one Tony fans 2022 save it and now I'm using Tony fans 2022 all right so now I can say automatic placement or manual so in this case I just want Facebook people I don't want Instagram or messenger or anything like that so just Facebook and I'm going to do that like that your audience is too specific uh, for yet to be shown try making it broader too bro too specific too narrow that's interesting why is it too narrow <coughs> Tony Robbins that's that should not be specific anyways 
don't worry let's not worry about that I'm just going to try to do it anyways see what happens and then we say next now the next part is the actual ad so in this case I want to use cis 389 right so it's going to be Facebook page and I'm going to say use existing post right here right and I'm going to go find my video of select the post <laughs> I'm going to go find that video that I'm looking for so number how to become a how to get leads how to so it's 380 right wasn't it 380 so this one oh this is the post no 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 I want a video the video video there's other plan video this is it here video video <coughs> video it's got to be a video because it's a video video ad right and it's down below here uh let's go find me some more so let's look for uh cis 380 let's do that is it gonna find cis 380 <coughs> let's see so group here there we go oh but why is it not finding my published posts <coughs> hmm it's like not finding oh I didn't choose the, the, the right page did I uh why is it not letting me <coughs> this is the page okay use existing post so I'm not sure why it's not showing but anyways it's probably because it's too old so if I go back here I can actually use this video id right here in the in the link or can I do it here copy video id maybe copy link edit no guess not uh, or maybe here no okay anyways <coughs> so that's the video id let's go see if I enter a video id here right, I cancel I want to enter post id I'm going to do this submit see if it'll find it hopefully it will there you go it did find it what is group hacker there we go so that's it here <coughs> okay so now the next thing you want to do is you want to maybe add a button or not it's really up to you I don't want to add a button to uh, just a view video <coughs> <coughs> sorry uh you want to make sure you got a pixel there <coughs> and if you don't have a pixel you got to create it but that's basically the the, the basics of it so you got your ad so this is just to grow the audience I'm just say publish I'm not sure if it'll be approved we don't know if it'll be approved we'll see um it says you're uh published because oh so it doesn't even let you publish it that's kind of sucky so I have to make the audience a little bit less narrow but that is kind of crazy it doesn't make sense so edit this <coughs> so this is good the age interest behaviors there's only two of them so why is that not maybe they're they're not so let's take um personal development out and update it <coughs> okay there we go oh okay now he's happy well no he's still saying too narrow like that makes no sense it's a big a big big odd oh I bet you that the Tony Robbins is no longer available that's probably why oh my god they they got rid of the Tony Robbins <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna just use uh Eric War instead then or maybe Russell Brunson let's see let's edit this and let's call this let's change this uh but it says 19 million people here all right okay let's add this try using okay it's it's not there anymore reach okay let's do this replace Tony Robbins motivational speaking all right so narrow further I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna add back the uh personal development personal development that doesn't even exist either oh I see <laughs> this is still good a work employers I don't want that I don't want employers let's do uh some affiliate marketing is there more than one because it's probably 
affiliate marketing additional interest that's the one I want I don't want the employer one let's get rid of that <coughs> okay so <coughs> there we go so now we have affiliate marketing as an interest we have Facebook page admins and interest and motivational speakers let's just uh, save as new let's call this motivational speakers motive speaker okay sorry I I should have uh, gotten that ready earlier but <coughs> there we go let's just do motivational speaker that's the uh, audience all right so now I have an audience that's uh, pretty good oh that's a good size look at that 15,000 to 18,000 now I'm going to publish this and now I have the ad submitted now, so that's <laughs> so that's the first thing now I'm talking now I want to talk about how to use a uh, saved audience we're already in 30 minutes so I'm going to try to do this quick <laughs> so the idea is this is done it's published and it's not it's it's going to um uh it's going to update right let's close that okay so now this is in review right here right okay so now I have it's not Tony this is going to be speakers save I just want to change the name if I go to this one and I go here <laughs> oops not the right one <laughs> actually this is the one here so this is not Tony this is speakers right I'm just going to edit the name here so this is going to be a specific audience that I'm trying to grow specific ad to an interest so this will help me grow the audience of my of my of my um, um speakers and let's go to the ad it'll help me grow the audience that I have for this right get it speakers <coughs> publish all right so now <coughs> I have this ad that I'm I'm promoting this video right now the other way <coughs> okay so now we want to do an ad to the audience so how do I do that again I create an audience I create an ad I'm going to say I want um still video views I guess and I'm going to call this so cis 380 <coughs> um cis 380 uh, from from 389 viewers <coughs> so I got so I'm going to call this the same thing so I just gave it a name basically what I'm saying here is that this is going to be an ad to the viewers of the vi cis 389 which is the how to find active users right and this was actually not 3d9 it's 380 wasn't it <coughs> so I'm going to do that 380 from 389 viewers all right so that's going to be that and that means that I need to have a da, 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 no categories a b test so I'm going to say again a dollar 40 a day <coughs> just daily budget I'm going to go next and now we're just going to create an, now this is where it becomes interesting the audience so create a new audience I want to create a new audience and it's going to be basically a custom audience is it a custom audience you are yeah I think that's yeah exactly so no that's not what I want <coughs> okay so all right okay so custom audiences this is where I do CIS 389 how to find active groups so this is the one that I'm building this is the one that, that I've got people in so I'm just gonna I could <coughs> um whoops that's fine I got it here okay so whoops there okay so now this is the audience I already have right the video viewers audience <coughs> was engagement on this video and I could do other things like I don't want to actually have I don't want to have anything here it's, it's whoever's viewed it uh let's just put world I don't know if I can I <coughs> can I just I guess I can't really okay, I guess I have to say worldwide I don't know why it let why it forces you to do that um world wide 
to worldwide is a region right <coughs> there we go so that's what I want whoops okay the age is whatever all this doesn't matter because there are people who viewed my video right if they viewed my video I don't really care where they're from or anything like that in this case anyways I'm just doing a full uh so you you can narrow it further right but the idea is if they viewed your video then they probably are already in your audience they're already interested in well hopefully interested in you right <coughs> so optimize delivery I'm not sure what that matters but uh okay so I guess all right so through play based on through play so that's I'm going to do manual placement again it's going to be just Facebook and then I'm going to say next <coughs> and then this one is again I want to have the ad here uh it's going to be a use existing post and this is showing me the same one I just did right which is what I want and uh and I think that's it right that's all we got to do so now we're creating another ad to watch this video if they watch the first one so that's kind of how you're doing now the idea obviously is you want to have a better uh, structure of ads you want to have a whole um concept of getting them from getting to know you you know they discover you and they they, they see more about you so that they get to like you and they get to you know eventually buy from you right that's the whole idea right so these ads aren't meant to sell anything they're meant to just grow your audience grow your audience of people that know you and like you and trust you so that's what this is being. I'm going to publish this one as well and then we're going to see how it goes maybe next week when we're ready for the uh for the the what I'm taught what I talked about earlier maybe we'll get to show you and hopefully these will be approved and we'll, you'll be able to see kind of the results I'm getting out of it all right hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.